this is the third and final video in this current series on if conditions. In this video, we're going to tackle a slightly more advanced grammar form of if conditions. We'll call it if conditions three. And also here we're talking about a hypothetical situation. We use this if three to talk about regrets or simply things we want to go back in the past and change so that now and the future also changes. But we all know you can't go back in the past and change the past, but still we have a way to talk about it in English. So how do we form if three? In the if part of the clause, of the sentence, we use the past perfect. That is the past tense of the verb to have, had, and the third form of the verb. In the main clause, we use a modal verb, would, could, or might, for an example, and the present perfect, which is the present tense of the verb have, and the third form of the verb. So let's try an example. Say you have a patient who usually gives blood at the blood bank. However, last month she didn't because she felt tired. This month she comes to you still tired. You examine her, take her blood, and you discover that she has anemia. However, we know that anemia is something they test for at the blood bank when people give blood. So she could give blood and they would find it. But for her, you're talking about her behavior in the past. What do you say? You say, if you had given blood, they would have discovered your anemia. In the if clause, you use the past perfect, had, and the third form of the verb, give. In the main clause, you use a modal verb, would, or could, or might, and the third form of the verb with have. So present perfect, have, discovered. So let's try now a negative sentence. Say a patient rushes to the emergency department with a swollen or distended abdomen, pain in the right lower side or right lower quadrant, and vomiting. The surgeon examines them and makes a diagnosis of appendicitis, so the patient is rushed to surgery. The day after the surgery, which went well, the surgeon comes to explain that they got the appendix just in time, it was swollen, it could have ruptured, but fortunately it didn't. What can the surgeon say to the patient? The surgeon can say, if you hadn't come in yesterday, your appendix could have burst. If you hadn't come in, and note where we put the not after had, if you hadn't come in, and in the main clause, modal verb plus present perfect tense, your appendix could have ruptured. So now here's a quiz for you. You have a patient who says comes into your general practice. This time you're a nurse. You're the first to assess the patient. You look and you see that the patient has a swollen mass in their armpit or in their axilla. It is warm, 
it is painful or tender and any longer and it could be an abscess. How do you explain this to the patient using an if clause? Here's the sentence. See if you can complete it using the grammar we've learned so far. How did you do? Let's see. You should have said, if you had waited any longer, it could have developed into an abscess. If you had waited any longer, it could have developed into an abscess. Right, so that's if clauses for now, but there are other ways in English that we talk about conditionals. And those we will tackle in a subsequent series on conditionals. So if you keep watching in the future, you will see more about discussing conditional situations in English. That's it for now. As always, I'm Alicia. Bye.